All right. You all right? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yes. All right, we're going to do the Northern Lights tutorial, but I'm going to wait to see if people get on. This is what it is with the alcohol inks from Marabou. Um, This is Leah, by the way, giving the tutorial. Um, this is my first tutorial in this group, so I'm super excited. But <laughs> yes, <laughs> Jessie's over there doing a cup, and uh, she's throwing her support over here. So. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's what I thought about mine. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and get my inks ready while people are getting on. Give it just another minute or so. So I think that was your dishwasher. Oh, you know what? You're right. Got a good number. I'll go ahead and start. Um, I'm gonna put some gloves on. Um, after this tutorial, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the tie dye because um, they use the same colors. Um, so this will be a double cup tutorial. So that'll be fun. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this is the Northern Lights with the Marabou Alcohol Ink. Um, as you can see, um, it's black, and I put some white in the middle so the colors can pop on it. Um, it's super shimmery because um, I used as a base coat, I'll go over it obviously, but as a base coat, I used the silver metallic, and then I put it right on top to give that extra shimmer. I also uh, painted these trees on here um, with black acrylic paint um, just because uh, I didn't have vinyl. <laughs> so I used what I had. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'll put that off to the side. So I already spray painted this cup, prepped the cup. It's a little bit bigger, so I'm going to try to keep it in focus. Sorry, this is on a stand, so if it's jiggly, I'm real sorry about that. Um, but I spray painted it all black first. And then what I did was I took the white and I stood probably about a foot away from it and just lightly spritzed it just in the middle right here. And as you can see, I had some little dots come out, which I really wanted. That was my goal because uh, it looks like stars. And uh, I went ahead and spray painted the bottom because I wanted this the blackest part. And then I went back and spray painted this on top right here. Um, just so it's a little darker. I'm super excited because on the cup, the silver pops really well on that black and it looks really good and I'm super excited about that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. 
So the brush that I use is this. It's a fan brush. It's just a regular blow paint brush. You can already see that it has all the alcohol inks in it. Um, and then the colors that I use, let me get my little plate. I have a little plate for you. <laughs> all right, so I use metallic silver in this little cup. I put them all in medicine cups. It's just a little easier because I kind of paint with that. So, And then I use lemon. And then right here I have apple and gentian, magenta right here, and amethyst, which I'm super excited. That amethyst, oh, my favorite color is purple, so um, I'm really loving that amethyst. But those are the colors that I'll be using from the Marabou Alcohol inks. But I'm first going to get started with this metallic silver. So I have that right here. All right, so what do I do is I put my arm, arm on that, <laughs> kind of stabilize it. I get it in there and I just brush off the excess. I'll show you a little bit. Dip it in there, brush that off right there. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hold this like this. Um, I'm gonna go like this and kind of puddle like a little bit of a line as you can see, it's dripping. I kind of let it drip just to have it uh, make its own little aura or the aurora. That's what it's, what's what they're called, the northern lights. Just kind of make it, let it have its own little path right there. And I'll just keep kind of piling it on and moving it around. And you can start anywhere on the cup. I just kind of picked a random spot and moved it around. You can see that drip going. Yeah. And I'm just going to keep kind of dragging it up. I'm going to move that line up. You can see right across from here. Okay, now I'm starting to get to that black area. Now it's really popping. I'm super excited. And I'm just gonna hit that right there. You don't have to go all the way up, but this is how I'm wanting it to go. Just kind of come across from here on the bottom. I'm gonna make that drag a little bit more further down. All right, so you can see it right here. Goes all the way to the top. I love that shimmer. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because you're actually going to be um, going over this again because um, we're going to make the streaks like on this cup right here, how I have the streaks right there. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Right, so we're going to start from the bottom, let it pull a little bit, and then we're just going to pull it right on up. Now you can't see the streaks very well right now, but once we get that color on it, it's really gonna pop. That's what I like about the silver is that it really helps make some of these colors real pop really nicely. And I'm just gonna follow my little line that I had. Pull up. You can kind of see it on the black right there, real nice. Now the thing about alcohol inks is that the alcohol evaporates pretty quickly. So you don't have to work really slow, but kind of, I mean, not too fast, but uh, you don't want to go too slow because um, it does evaporate. I hope everybody's having a great Friday.
Now you don't have to go all the way up like I just did. As it's going down, so are my streaks, just like that. Okay. All right, I'm liking how that's looking right there. All right, so I'm gonna do another one. So I'll go ahead and start from the same spot right here. So I'm gonna kind of pull it right here. Just moving it back and forth. I, I wonder if y'all can see that. Do y'all see that shimmer in it? It's a really nice shimmer. I have loved working with this metallic silver. I'll go ahead and start pulling up. dripping right now. I'm just kind of letting it form its own thing. I'm just going to let that one be a little short one. Actually gonna come up here right about this is where my first one was I'm gonna come up right here just do another one go ahead and get it diagonal I'm gonna try to catch that I'm gonna let it go up to at a diagonal similar to the other one hi everyone sorry I can't really see um, the uh, comments yeah no, it's okay. It's, I can see I'm right here, but like I, the phone holder is in the way because <laughs> I need both my hands. But thank you. Yeah, Jesse knows this is my first live, so I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try. <laughs> so she's right here to help me. Tell Mickey that we are going to save it and share it so she can watch it Yeah, we will save this video um, so y'all can watch it later so y'all are able to. This is the Marabou inks, the alcohol inks. Um, we've been having a sale on them all week. They're still 50% off. Yep, and they are still 50% off. So, <laughs> yes, payday for me. So, I am probably going to be scooting on over there. Because at first, I wasn't really sure how I felt about it, to be honest. But um, once I started using it, I really, I really get to enjoy, like, the, the, um, the way the color shifts and all that, it looks really good. And I love the watercolor. I love watercolor painting. So I know it looks um, it looks similar to watercolor, which I love. So. Sarah Nicole said, if this is your first love, you're doing amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. And Melly would like to know what colors did you say you were using again? Oh, okay. And I got gentian and lemon too. Um, so lemon will be the yellow. Um, here, I'll go over, I'll show y'all that again while I let that dry a little bit. Bring back my plate. All right, so I got lemon right here, lemon alcohol ink. This is the Marabou alcohol ink. Um, this is apple and gentian. magenta and amethyst and this is all the marabou alcohol inks all right so that silver what's good about this alcohol ink is that it also dries pretty good um and pretty quickly too so i like that all right so i think i'm gonna um i don't want to overdo it so i'm just gonna do a couple so i have this one right here this little diagonal one, it looks wonky, but I promise, you know, not all northern lights are the same, so. Um, and I got one right here coming across, and I got my big one 
coming all through right here. And if you can see on the black, that silver really pops. I'm super excited about this, guys. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pull my plate over. Okay. I'm going to rinse off my brush really quick. Um, I just dipped it in some water and fluffed the brush out. <clears throat> All right, so I, what I've been doing is I've been going from lightest color to darkest color. And so I'm going to start with lemon. Put these right over here so y'all can somewhat see. All right, so I'm gonna start with lemon. As you see, it kind of drips up. So what I like to do is I'll get a napkin, just kind of dab off a little bit of the excess, you know, wipe as much on the side as I can, but all right. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start at the bottom of my big one right here. And what I'm gonna do is similar to what I did with the silver, because your silver is kind of your base. I'm gonna put that right on the bottom, kind of let it pool. And then I'm just gonna pull up just lightly. You wanna use a light hand, because if you put it too heavy, it's not gonna come out with the streaks. And you want the streaks. Normally I don't like streaks, but you want the streaks in this one. If you can see it right there, very nicely. So I'm not gonna do the whole thing in yellow. I'm actually gonna do like bits and pieces. So this is the part where I'm gonna do the yellow on this and I'll probably go up just a little bit. Okay. Let's see, we'll do it right here. I'm just pulling up, pulling out a diagonal since my light is kind of going up. You can find our inks at sassandcrafts.com and they should be on the first page, but if they're not on the homepage, go in the search bar and just search for um, either alcohol inks or Marabou um, alcohol inks. All right, so I'm gonna pick another spot. I'm gonna go right here. This is at the end of my little short one. I love how um, the stars came through on that one. Well, I say the stars, it was spray paint, but it looks like stars, so very exciting. All right, so I got some yellow on there. Now I'm just gonna go in with green. Now I have yellow on my brush, but what's really cool is since I'm going from lightest to darkest, I'm going right into that green, and it kind of blends with the yellow. And so it'll come off with some yellow green and then some places will be like really green. And I really like that. So I'm just gonna put it next to this yellow so you can see. So I'm gonna pull it right here at the bottom and pull up. All right, I got some more green, so I'm gonna do it again. I'll pick right here. And I'm gonna go into that yellow too. So it's a good transition right there, like that. I did a little bit over here, but I'll probably go back in and do it real quick. Just a little bit more. <laughs> Is that Harlow? No, that's me almost ruining a cup. Oh. <laughs> Right, I'm going to do it right over here, too. You don't have to do them right next to, like, the previous color that you did. But I just want to show you some comparisons. And the green and yellow look really good together, so. All right. Now I'm 
going to go in with the blue, um, the gentian, maybe. <laughs> See, it already evaporated, so I got to work quickly, so. Let me go ahead and get that. Hey, do you have Thank you. Actually, I think I forgot that color last time, so when I was putting them together. All right. So I'm gonna go in with the gentian. And it has a little bit of that green on it, so that's real cool. So I think I'm gonna be, I'm gonna let this be the beginning of this one. I like using the fan brush because it already has that streaky um, part about it whenever it paints. And you don't have to use a brand new brush. I mean, it can look like this. I've put this through a couple cups already, so. And I'm just using a very light hand when I pull up. Going right back into that gentian. I think I'm gonna put it on this side right here. I'm gonna go on top of that green too. Get some, get some up here. I did. So I first started out by spray painting it all black. And then once it was almost dry, I came back in with the white and just lightly spritzed it in the middle. So it would help these colors pop. Um, but also that silver looks really good on that black. So I made sure that at least the top and the bottom of the cup were both spray painted black. All right. I think that's a good amount of blue. All right, so the next color I'm going in is with magenta. Now with magenta, it is pink, and I know I have purple too. This is gonna be a different color purple when I go in, um, when it mixes with the blue that's already on my brush. So I'll go ahead and start right here. See, this is like a, you can really see the blue and the pink. Um, Katie, I did not mix the alcohol inks at all. They are just straight alcohol. I can see that question right over the little stand. <clears throat> oh, magenta. Okay, it looks more purple. That's okay. All right, now it's looking more magenta-y. Go in on that blue, mix that right there. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm actually gonna put that magenta right in between this spot because that's gonna look really nice uh, blended. All right. 
And the last color that I'm going to use is um, amethyst purple. It's like a dark purple. Um, and now that I've had blue and uh, gentian and uh, magenta on my brush, um, it'll have those colors on there too. I, um, I teach painting classes sometimes and um, I, that's when I usually tell people to use a dirty brush. Um, and that's what I'm doing, I'm using a dirty brush. Have a little bit of a gap right here so I think I'm gonna go back in with a blue the gentian let that dry for just a little bit. Um, while I'm letting that dry for a little bit, I want to remind y'all to go over to um, the Marabou Alcohol Ink event and be sure to enter in our giveaway. The grand prize is the all 28 colors um, and there's three runner-ups um, that get a choice of five. It's your choice. Um, so you really want to be a part of that because that would be awesome to get. Um, and I think you can enter up to four times. So go ahead and get all your enters in now. Um, and the winner will be picked at some point tonight, I believe. Um, but you definitely want to go ahead and get that. What was that? Probably around five o'clock. Oh, around five o'clock when everybody's getting off work. That'd be a good way to end your work day. So... Go ahead and do that. Oh, so the giveaway, if you go to um, our events in our group, um, how I had to get to it was I had to click on the calendar, and it'll say that it started on Monday, but it's actually going um, until tomorrow. It's pinned in the announcements. Okay. Yes, look for the confetti. <laughs> There's a giant picture of confetti, um, and you'll go to that event, and if you go down, you'll see um, that Jessica has put um, two posts, and um, you can click on either one of those posts, and the link will be in her, um, her post right there. Um, and then you can just click on it. And then uh, I think it'll ask you to fill out your name, email, and a Facebook name. So if you have a different Facebook name, um, we want to make sure that if you do win, that um, you'll be uh, you'll be all set no matter how we get a hold of you. So, all right. So alcohol inks dry pretty quickly, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put more silver in my cups. So I'm good with the colors now. But I'm gonna put those away for later because I'm actually gonna do the tie dye on with this one. So. So I have the silver Marabou inks. These are the Marabou inks. Sorry, ours are messy because we've all been using them. So this is the metallic silver. And all the metallics have, if you can hear that, they all have the little ball inside um, to mix it up really well. So that's what you'll be hearing for just a second. All right, 
I think it's good and shaken up pretty good. Um, the only thing about putting this uh, on to be very careful about is that the ball does come up here and kind of blocks it. You might hear it. So I have to pour it at an angle to get it in there. Only need a little bit, which is awesome. Yeah, and kind of hear it. But I pour it at an angle to get it in there um, because if you go straight down, that ball will close right on in there and you won't be able to get it out until you flip it right back over. So if you want to pour it into another cup, you just um, pour it at an angle. All right. So I think my cup should be good. It's my little splotchy towel. All right. As you can see, it kind of does some work on your brush, but that's okay because these streaks are uh, what we need it for. So. So with the metallic, so I did the base with the metallic silver, um, and then I put the colors on it for the vibrancy. And now I'm going right back in with the silver on top of it. So it somewhat dulls the color, but it makes it more shimmery and shiny, and it actually looks really good. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right. So I'm just gonna just start somewhere. So you kind of let it pull again. And you pull up. Oh, I hope y'all can see that. Oh, it's so pretty. I love that. This um, was very hard um, to learn. Uh, I just uh, picked it yesterday. I was like, I'm gonna try that. And I tried it yesterday and I just, I felt like I just could not get it down. And then uh, I slept on it. I actually had crazy dreams about Northern Lights. <laughs> and uh, I actually came back to work today and I was like, I know exactly what I need to do. And I pulled off, um, pulled off that first cup and I was like, yep, I can do this. I can teach other people, <laughs> at least to the best of my ability, but... Thank you. <laughs> so you're going to be going all over um, your northern lights with that silver. So it looks good now, but it looks even better once it's dry, which I'm super excited about. Please, because I can't see them. <laughs> Yes. Victoria, that she can find medicine cups at Allegra Medical. Okay. Um, so you can find these um, medicine cups at allegramedical.com. Um, they should have like an ordering area. We can get uh, yeah, and we'll, uh, Jessica said that we will get the link and we will be posting it. So. They have sales a lot too. Ooh, yeah. We know that we love sales, so. <laughs> Uh, Jessica said that we uh, they have sales a lot too, so um, that's exciting. Sales are always good. Okay, and Becky said, "Thanks so much for the video because she's the one that." Yes, yes, this is for you. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you for um, giving me this challenge because. It has been that, a challenge, so, but it's been so much fun, and I actually, I loved uh, learning about this, so it's been super exciting. All right, come over here. Okay, and Joyce asked if you can just explain your process again. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. All right. For those of who just joined, welcome. Happy Friday. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you um, how I started. So what I did was um, I started out by prepping my cup. I spray painted the entire cup black. 
uh, matte black. Um, and then once what I did was I once that started to dry, it was almost dry. And then I came back in and just spray painted a little bit of white right in the middle right here. And then I made sure that the top was black and the bottom is black because I'm going to come back in and paint some happy little trees right here. And um, then once I uh, got that done, I came back in and I started with the silver and that was my base. And I don't know if you can tell what I've been doing, but I just kind of let it pool at the bottom right here. And then I lightly with a very light hand pull up. And that's what I did for the base. Um, and I used that metallic silver. Once that dried, I came in and I will go over the inks one more time real quick. All right, so I made a little plate. <laughs> um, so I started off with lemon. This is the yellow color um, for the Marabou alcohol inks. Uh, apple and gentian. I hope I'm saying that right because that's what I've been saying this whole video. Uh, magenta and amethyst. And I didn't mix them with anything. These are straight from the bottle. Um, and then so is the metallic silver. It's not mixed with anything. I just went straight from the bottle. Um, but those are the colors and those are on our website uh, at sassandcrafts.com. And um, we are actually having a sale this week. So if anybody wants to stop on in, and we also have a giveaway going on on the Marabou Alcohol Inks event in our group. Um, it should be pinned to the top. So if you just go right on in the page, um, you'll click that link and it'll take you to the event. And then uh, you'll go down a couple posts and you'll see Jessica, um, has put uh, the link where you sign up for it. Um, and yeah, and you just put your name, your email, and your Facebook name if it's different. So that way we can contact you if you are the winner. So yeah, that's it. All right, you see that I'm pulling that and then pulling straight up. Oh, so that's what I was gonna say. So once I got the color on, what right now what I'm doing is I'm putting that silver right back on. And that's bringing that extra shimmer right into it. Go on the bottom right here. I'm sorry if you comment and I don't answer right away. I can't see it from the phone stand, um, but um, Jamie and Jessica are helping me um, if I can't see them and if you need an answer. So just be patient with me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. See, I love how this happened. When I pulled it right here, it was just a little bit more silver. And I just keep pulling up. Oh, it's so pretty. I love sparkly things, you know, because glitter and all that. So... I'm loving the shimmer that's going on right now. All right. So those are my northern lights. I'm going to shimmer right here real quick. Now, I'm, I'm talking to myself, too. You don't want to sit on this too long and be like, oh, but what if I miss this or what if I do this? So maybe I need to add more right here. Don't sit on it too long because not only does the alcohol evaporate, but you don't want to keep going and then, you know, end up hating your project. You want to really love this because this 
it may it's a little tedious but um the results are you know obviously amazing so all right so right now i'm gonna let it sit for just a minute and i'm gonna come right back in here and i'm gonna do some trees so i'm gonna show you these trees right here real quick i just did the bob ross way just went right on in with it those happy little trees it's nice because uh you know they don't have to be perfect because they're just silhouettes so that helps a lot probably hear the heat gun that's Sorry. jessica working no i'm just i'm just telling them what you're doing oh, she's working on a cup it's all good <laughs> no you're all right <laughs> All right, you can see it got a little nice little design going on. That was for the tie-dye cup. All right, so um, so I used this already. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in my water. And I'm gonna go in with a little detail brush. Um, this is just for the trees. Um, you don't have to worry about this step if you have vinyl that you cut out. It's just, it's what I got is, you know, my tree talent and my black paint. So that's what I'm doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on here. And I'm just using straight black. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is, since I, I painted that bottom black on purpose, so when I did come in here and paint the trees, um, I didn't have to like do much detail down here. I could just kind of, I'm still going to go down here and just kind of go up. So it has a nice flow because I think that this black has just a touch of shimmer in it, which is okay. Cause it works out for the Northern lights. Um, but I'm just going to go in and just going to go right on up. I'm just making a bunch of pine trees. I don't know if you can see that just going right up into a point and I'm making big trees small trees medium trees um, if there's a spot you don't like that big tree can go right on over it so it's that's what's nice about this <laughs> right. that's also what I like about these alcohol inks is that they dry and they dry pretty quickly, which, you know, I mean, for some people that's a little scary, but, you know, for these kind of instances, you know, I just went right on over it with the, with the paint. It's good. All right, this is going to be kind of a small, small tree. Now, I did the white right here, too, if you can see it right there. Um, that way I can probably put some little tiny trees down here, um, because these, I want them to kind of be the sky slash stars, you know, kind of thing right here. Um, so I'm probably just going to put like a little, little medium tree. So I'm going to put a small tree right here. They don't have to be perfect because they're little silhouettes. Do the little tree right here. I'm sorry, you didn't even see that probably. <laughs> it's hard watching the camera and your hand at the same time. I'm doing my best. 
I bring that right on up there. Melly's excited. She got the alcohol things. Yes. Happy little trees. Yes, happy little trees. <laughs> Awesome. Super excited for you to use them. Be sure to share your creations. We absolutely love seeing your creations with our um, products that we have. All right. Not a good amount. I'll probably put... Oh, look. I have room for one more tree. <laughs> Just gonna go all out. We're gonna make this a big tree. go ahead and put my brush in the water and be very careful but these are my little trees made a couple of them some of them are a little more full than the rest and some of them are more Christmas like that's good because all trees are different <laughs> but yeah this is my northern lights move my thing so um, what we have been doing with the alcohol inks is so they don't spread, we've been spraying them um, with a sealant. We used um, the Mod Pod sealant. Um, it just comes in a spray can and we've just, we've sprayed it um, one or two times for the full cup. And I've let mine sit um, for about 12 hours before I epoxy it. Um, but that's totally up to you. That was just, you know, I finished it at the end of the work day and, uh, I went home and then I came back and put some epoxy on it this morning. My little, uh, sloth cup is on the turner right now. Um, that was in, uh, another live. Um, once that's done, I'll, uh, I'll show you that. But yeah, this is the Northern Lights cup and I love the colors. I love rainbows, so this is like super beautiful to me. And I, I'm just so excited that the spray paint did that. Um, but yeah, this is it. And uh, next, I'll do the tie-dye one. Um, but I'm actually gonna take a little break because I have to go to the bathroom. Um, so I'm gonna come back on another live and I'll show you the tie-dye. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, thank you for watching. I'm gonna take this off. Woo! Thank you for watching. I'll be back in uh, in just a little bit. I'll show you the show you these main ones real quick. So that's the first one that I did, and this is the one that I just showed y'all. So Darcy asked, "What you use for the trees?" Oh, so I painted the trees, Darcy, um, just with some just acrylic paint from the a uh, craft store so I think this is this is folk art yeah um oh it's actually yeah it's brushed black so it had a little bit of a shimmer to it um beautiful though so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go and I'll be back in just a minute to show you uh the tie-dye video so I'll see y'all later thank you